Fallout 4's handy hints and tips for beginners. Name your weapons. It's easy to pick up 15 similar guns, however at a weapons bench you can easily rename your weapons to keep track of them so that you can sort the garbage from the gold. In your settings and display menu you can choose not only your HUD colors and the opacity which you can effectively hide your HUD entirely, but also your Pip-Boy color and opacity as well. Aluminium or aluminum is the cornerstone of a ton of construction. If you see any bent silver looking cans, grab them. It's going to make your life a lot easier easier down the road. While you can easily upgrade weapons and armor at workbenches, finding weapons or armor that have special attributes in your travels or by defeating elite enemies are far more valuable as they'll be just as powerful as their standard counterparts, however when you upgrade them they'll retain the greater or special attributes. Scrap everything you can when you first get your workshop. Now, make sure that it's not something that's, you know, base value where you want to sell it, but basically you want to scrap everything. However, the best perk that you can get early on is scrapper, as weapons and armor will then give you screws, copper, aluminium or aluminum, which are not only rare, but needed for a ton of recipes. So you really want that scrapper early on. Alerting enemies to your presence and being detected will change you to the danger status. Over time, however, if you remain hidden, it will scale back to cautious and then hidden. You can see the progress with the brackets surrounding the words, and it kind of gives you a great easy indicator where you can back out of a fight and maybe get a better footing. Ghouls, being much younger and more supple, are incredibly fast, so shoot out their legs to negate their advances and execute a well-placed pistol whip to save ammunition and finish them off, but also just because it feels great. Above all else, avoid radiation. Whether getting hit by ghouls or other creatures or consuming food, Fallout 4 is much more unforgiving with radiation in general and its distribution of right away. So unless you have better perks, then basically you don't want to get hit, you don't want to eat the food, and you want to stick to stim packs where you can. Radiation also has the unfortunate side effect of lowering your overall health indicated with the red portion of your health bar. Assign settlers whilst in build mode to different tasks by hitting use while facing them, and then targeting the specific task area and hitting a sign. You can see in the top bar of your settlement, it'll give you an indicator saying settler assigned, and you can see in the top bar of your settlement which job positions need to be tended to. If you want more handy hints and tips for Fallout 4, make sure to head on over to fallout.gamepedia.com, which has all your Fallout needs in one wiki. This is Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game. I know I am.